Hi everyone, it's Andrea here and today I'm going to do my Marilyn Spotlight uh, video. So again, I've picked one of the books off of my Marilyn shelves and I'm going to show you it and give you a bit more information about it. So this week we're looking at Marilyn by Moonlight, compiled by Jack Allen. This is a slipcased slip book, so we've got this as a slipcase and it comes out and it's like, it looks like that. It really is a beautiful edition. This was a um, limited edition digitally designed book um, with over, as it says on the back, over 120 rare and revealing photos, many unseen from the private collections of Marilyn's premier fan club and that's a club called Mar uh, Marilyn Remembered. Images laced with a star's reflection on her own life, her thoughts, feelings and anecdotes culled from interviews and obscure recordings. Now the thing about this book is they have been photoshopped, they've been digitally enhanced. Now generally I don't like photoshopped images because I don't see the point, but the photoshopped images I'm referring to aren't these ones, which are just enhancing the photographs and putting them in different backgrounds, and they're clearly digital art. The ones I don't particularly like are when they take her head and stick it on, say, Jane Mansfield's body or Audrey Hepburn's body, and believe me, there are a lot of people that do that and they call it art. It's not art, it's just done to confuse people. It's, I feel so sorry for fans today who are seeing these for photographs and thinking they're really Marilyn and they're not. Anybody who's not sure of what's uh, a real Marilyn photo or has it been photoshopped, I suggest you check out Immortal Marilyn, their website, there's an article on Buzzfeed and um, also the Facebook page. They are the premier online group and basically every time one of these photos go up, go up some of these members, they'll go out and they'll search for the original Marilyn photo and the original photo of the other person whose body has been used instead. Now the estate have also been doing this recently. They've been taking Marilyn's head from one photograph and putting it on Marilyn's body from another photograph. Just as annoying, because um, it's still not real. Um, but anyway, on to the book. So Marilyn by Moonlight is a limited edition. This is, they, they did release one before this. This is a second set of Marilyn by Moonlight. I didn't get the first time it came out. It is signed by Jack Allen. I don't know if you can see that silver right in there. And my copy is uh, a limited collector's edition of 138 out of 500. So this is an untouched photo of Marilyn, so this has not been photoshopped or digitally altered. There's a, a little bit from Greg Schreiner, who's the president of Marilyn Remembered. And then there's a dedication. And there are proper photos as well. So we've got a photograph of her at school. And then in 1962 in Mexico. Um, so then again, yes, again, a lot of these photographs are not altered. Obviously you see the, the back one has been. But there are some that have. And there are quotes in here saying, I remember when I was a kid at the movies on a Saturday afternoon, I'd never come out of the movies and they'd have to come and get me. So there are some very rare photos in here of her. Some of them are semi-nude, so I'm not going to, to show you those. And then there are ones where, as you can see, the book's been digitally done because we've got a picture of a rose and Marilyn. Then there's a photograph of Marilyn and Betty Grable. Um, so the early pictures are actually non-tampered with. They've been enhanced to make them look nice. And then you get ones like this where there's millions of Marilyns all over the place. Choose the light shining. So another one of her with all the disco balls. So there are ones that have been changed along with ones that haven't. So it's a nice book, it's very beautiful. It was quite expensive, I think. I can't actually remember how much it was now, because it's this came out in 2000, so this, this edition. It's just like 16 years old, so. Oh, yes. 1962 at the Golden Globes with Jose Bolognese. And there's some headlines of her death. So. I can remember getting this and there were some very rare pictures in it and you've got multiple Marilyns. I like that. Multiple Marilyns. Can't go wrong. Um, pictures from when she was in Korea. Uh, 
Um, something's got to give, and there's the cover image. And it's and the end papers are really nice as well because the end papers are like a sort of kaleidoscope of Marilyn's, which is really nice. And Jack Allen is a movie historian and collector for over 20 years and has contributed to numerous books about Hollywood's golden era. He is an alumnus and associate professor at USC Film School and works as a television executive at a Los Angeles production company. And the flap has come off. So, oops. And the other flap just says what I read before about that it's... Uh, and then this is one that's been doing the rounds of uh, Facebook lately. That one of us sitting on the moon, sleeping on the moon. So yes, so this is a beautiful book. So you can pick it up from places like eBay and Amazon. I don't know how much it will cost, but obviously because I've got it, I don't really keep an eye on the prices. If it was on eBay, I might watch it just to see how, what it goes for. But this is a beautiful book. And like I said, it's got Marilyn's reminiscences all the way through it. I was never used to being happy. That wasn't something I was ever counting on. So there's lots of quotes as well, which is nice. And again, it comes in this beautiful slipcase edition. So on the front, it's got the very famous headshot of her. If you, if you saw the whole thing, she'd be wearing a gold lame dress. And the back, it's like covered in stars almost. So yeah, so that's Marilyn by Moonlight. It is a really, really gorgeous, beautiful book. I would recommend it if you can pick this one up. I love this book. I love most of my books. There are a few I don't like, but that's due to the fact that they're very bad. So yeah, so do pick that up if you can. Like I said, at some point in the future, I will be making a Marilyn Books You Should Avoid video. Um, I've got a few uh, that I haven't read yet, so I need to get through those. And I know they're the bad ones, which is why I haven't read them, but I don't feel fair. I don't think it's fair to slate them without reading them properly first. So, um, yeah, there's a few I've got to read first. So, anyway, that is this week's Marilyn Book Spotlight. There will be another one next week, and I hope to see you soon. Bye!